So we're gonna go in and cleanse her face. I'm gonna use a, um, a clarifying cleanser that'll help to degrease the face as well. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in and rinse the face. And because she has a little bit of redness, I can use an LED light to actually calm that redness down. Also, if she had pustules on her face, LED light would help with uh, killing the propionium bacteria. So you could use an LED light for that as well. Blue light first to kill any bacteria, and then follow it with the green light to reduce the redness. Now I have her eyes covered, so I don't have to worry about not getting it too close to her eye. I'm gonna turn the power on. We're gonna go in with the photo, which is, and with the blue light, the blue light's gonna kill the bacteria. And know that light only travels a certain distance. So I can take, I don't have my ultrasound on right now. I can take that ultrasound, put it right here to her skin. That kind of gives me a distance away, so I'm all the way into there. You wanna keep moving this around so that the blue light hits everywhere. Now normally I'm gonna spend about two minutes in each section on the face. Dividing the forehead, dividing each cheek, and then the sides of the neck. So two minutes on the forehead, two minutes on each cheek, and then two minutes on each side of the neck. And uh, with Amanda, she doesn't have any pustule acne here, but if she did, it would actually kill that bacteria. Um, but how many of you have ever done extractions and you notice the next day you get a pustule? because as you did your extraction, you stirred up bacteria in the, in the skin. So the blue light's really good to use on your clients, let's see, right after I've done extractions, just to prevent that pustule from happening. You can have the ultrasound on there at the same time, and you can have two treatments going on at the same time, but it's not necessary. And the light, is, if I put a, a cream or an ointment on the skin, the light may be diffused a little bit. So I don't want that light to be diffused for this. I want the full strength of it. Oh, if I used a clear serum, perfect. Let's say she has um, acne and she has some acne scars, some hyperpigmentation. I could use a skin lightener and the red light to help with the pigmentation. Mm -hmm. But you can see her skin already, it just looks moist and all I did. She's only had water on her skin and a cleanser. So, and it really just from this treatment alone, she's got nice shine and hydration. Then I'm gonna follow her up with a, a, a green light and the green light's gonna do what? Help with redness. So we'll go in with the green light. What I want to do on her, I want to show how to do a little bit of a facelift. What I do is I do massage and I'm, I'm conscious about how I'm massaging the skin with it. Um, I'm in upward, upward strokes, right. I know that the muscles, um, when you're massaging a muscle, you need to massage upward and outward on the face. And so when I'm using the ultrasound, I'm going to be doing that as well. What's nice about this tool also, let's say I just did a waxing on her face and her face is all red and she's got like an important date right afterwards. I use the green light right over the mouth, uh, right over the chin. You know, here on the cheeks usually where you get the reddest. Use the green light, that redness is going to go away. And that's within a matter of minutes. Let's say now that Amanda's got more mature skin and I want to do some ultrasound on her because um, I want to pick up her sagging jowls. Uh, she has some fine lines around her eyes. But I also want to give her LED light treatment as well. Um, I found this wonderful product. Um, I use it, I love it for ultrasound. It, it, it's a great conductor for ultrasound. It has collagen and elastin already in it, so you don't have to use a serum with it. Um, I use this for stretch marks that are really broken down, sagging skin, it helps to lift it up, but also sagging skin on the face. So that's what I'm gonna use on her skin. So let's say she has got a little bit mature skin. She has some nice labial folds indented in here. Turn the power is on. I'm going to use my Sonic. I want red light. And for the face, she doesn't have a lot of fat tissue. She has more, uh, more bony structure in her face. So I'm not going to start her up on the highest setting. I may start her off on medium. If she had really bony protrusions, I might start her off on low. But I think I'm okay with medium on her. What I want you to do though is if it feels uncomfortable, if it feels too warm in your tissue, or if you feel a little achy, let me know, okay? Okay. And I also like to put a little bit on my head of my ultrasound. And with this, I don't have to have a lot of this on here like I did with the aloe vera gel. I just need enough because I'm gonna be penetrating the product. 
So here I am, and I'm going to work this in a circular motion. She's getting the benefits of the ultrasound. She's getting the benefits of the LED light all in one. I want to be conscious of the muscles I'm working over, and I want to lift up. I want to lift up, okay? And I'm kind of massaging with it, and this is actually working three million times per second with the ultrasound machine. The client really shouldn't feel anything. If anything, it should feel soothing, relaxing. What I like about this head here is a lot of people have problems right here in the glabella area, right in here between the eyes. And this is small enough to actually get right into that area. And that'll soften the fine lines that are there. And we can come right in here into the jawline. And because we're using the light and the ultrasound together, I want to make sure she's got her goggles on. I'm giving her a lift and I'm healing the skin at the same time with the light, producing collagen, stimulating the fibroblast that produces the collagen. And you don't want to, I work into four, se uh, five segments, I'm sorry. I work one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do each area no more than two minutes because if I work too long with the ultrasound, it can actually bruise the tissue. Well, you can work on the nose. In the nasal labial folds, well, as we age, we lose adipose tissue in those areas, so it depresses. And by using your ultrasound into the nasal labial fold, you can get some plumping in that area. So I may go from the tip of the nostril down that nasal labial fold. So right into here, just working into that area, into those little marionette lines, right? What I always think is really strange is the client really is not feeling anything. So the client may say, Oh, I want you to do it longer. I want you to do it longer. Mm -mm. So they love it. Don't do it longer. Now, if I'm going to do the neck, because some people get that old, crepey looking neck type of a thing, and I can come right into the neck. You want to be careful over the hyoid bone, over the vocal cords, because this vibration can actually create like a gagging or choking sensation in the client. So we don't work in there. We just stay right here on the muscles at the side of the neck. You can work along the jowls on the mandible bone. After you're through with this, you always want to make sure that the client gives you feedback. How did it feel? Do I feel any heat sensation in the tissue? Do I feel any achiness, like bruising sensation in the tissue? If you do, then you need to turn your output down and your time should go down. So it's important that you chart every session with the client and get feedback from the client. And then we're going to take her goggles off okay. and I'm going to rinse her face. And at the end, you just go ahead and tone her. And apply some moisturizer. I've been using a little moisturizer with some SPF. <music>